Welcome back to the Poker Vlog. This is episode number 125, and for this one, we play our first session of live poker back in a Las Vegas casino since the whole quarantine went down. So I'm excited to share that with you guys. And also, we're giving away tons of stuff. So uh, WSOP is going on right now. You can play these online events in New Jersey and uh, Nevada. I'm in Nevada, so I'm firing in, a, in some of these, and then I actually plan on going to Mexico to play GG Poker. Um, with Andrew, we're gonna be we're gonna be roommates for a while. But anyway, I partnered up with PokerCoaching.com. We're giving away three thousand dollars seats to WSOP events. If you're not in Nevada or if you're not in New Jersey or just can't play um, in any of these online events at all, then uh, you'll just get a free thousand dollars. So the way to make yourself eligible for that is by going down to the description box below. I'll have a link. You click that link. Scroll down. Fill in your name. Fill in your email address and you'll give yourself a chance to win. And just by doing that, you'll get, you'll get a free ebook from Jonathan Little. It's called Strategies for Beating Small Stakes Tournaments, and uh, it'll really help improve your game. Um, in addition to that, PokerCoaching.com is giving away a five-day free trial to premium membership for the site, and uh, that's to give you, give you a sample of the 30-day tournament prep challenge that he's doing alongside tournament crushers, uh, Alex Fitzgerald, uh, Faraz Jaka, who's won like just millions and millions of dollars in uh, tournament earnings, and he was a former WPT Player of the Year, and Evan Jarvis. So these guys are all crushers. There's interactive hand quizzes, there's daily courses that you can take and make yourself a much better tournament player. I usually play cash, so I'm not too familiar with tournaments, but I have been using poker coaching lately, and there's a lot of really helpful stuff. Just doing the doing the quizzes is the most fun way to learn. Um, and then also there's these really helpful videos. There's one that I was looking at yesterday from Matt Affleck. It was about three bet pots, and that's something that I really have trouble with, particularly in tournaments. I, you, you have to three bet with a much wider range, and uh, you just get into a lot of interesting spots that I'm not used to necessarily as a cash game player since I usually play um, deeper stacks with like 200 big blinds or more. So having 40 big blinds and 80 big blinds, there's different strategies for three betting. And there's a ton more that you're gonna learn from uh, the tournament prep course. Uh, there's stuff about you know playing around the bubble and just making it really deep in tournaments and all kinds of stuff. So take advantage of those free uh, offers and uh, let's go ahead and get started. Poker's back at the casinos in Las Vegas, but not everywhere, so you have to go to one of the select locations. To winning a few hundred at the Venetian earlier tonight, where I'm not allowed to film, I come to the Orleans to play. I haven't spent much time here since my first trip to Vegas, right after my 21st birthday. On that trip, I hopped into a 4-8 game, won 120, and immediately lost it while trying to martingale and roulette. They've redone the poker room since then, a few other changes have been made recently as well, all the tables are five-handed, players are required to wear masks during the entire session. I jump into a 2-5 game and buy in for a thousand, which is the max. During the first orbit, we pick up ace-queen suited in the big blind, the cutoff opens at 15. I just flat, we're heads up, the flop comes ace-ace-queen rainbow, we flop a full house. Just kidding, we don't run that good. Just kidding again, we do run that good, we've got the best hand possible right now. I check to the pre-flop razor, unfortunately he checks back, we have the world, it's tough for him to have much. The turn is the seven of diamonds, I need to pump some money into this pot. I bet 15. We have a customer, cut off calls. The river is the three of hearts. I bet 35. Apparently that's too much. The opponent folds, fun flop, but we didn't make that much money. Next we've got jack nine of hearts on the button. I raised to 15. The big blind defends, we're heads up. The flop comes king jack seven with two diamonds and one heart. The big blind checks. I bet 15 with second pair and some backdoor draws. The big blind calls. The turn is the three of hearts. We pick up a flush draw. The opponent checks. I bet 25 this time. Big blind calls again. The plan is to check back river if I don't improve, but that plan sucks. I do improve. The river is the nine of spades. We make two pair. The big blind checks. I bet 55 hoping for a call. The player comes through for us. He puts out calling chips. I turn over the two pair. The big blind sees that he's been taken to the town of value and the pot is pushed our way. It's only a few hands in. We're already up over a Benjamin. Here I've got ace nine suited in the small blind. The cutoff limps in. He's the opponent from the last hand. The button calls, I call for three more, the big blind checks, we go four ways to the flop, it's jack 10 7 rainbow, we have a gutter with one over and a backdoor flush draw. I check and the big blind checks, cutoff bets 15. The button calls, I call to see if I can fulfill some of my hand's potential. The big blind folds, three of us see the turn, it's the ace of spades, we have top pair to go along with our draw. 
I check, the cutoff and button both check, they seem to be afraid of the ace, I likely have the best hand. The river is the four of spades, backdoor spades get there, we'll probably still have the winner though. I bet 25 for value, maybe one of the opponents will stick around with a hand like queen jack or king jack. The cutoff makes the call, the button folds, I turn over my hand, it's good, the cutoff is a little flustered that I've gotten good run out so far, and he's paid me off twice. We're doing well to begin the session and have a current profit of over 175. Later we pick up King Jack suited in the small blind. Under the gun limps in, he has a short stack. This is the same opponent from the last two hands. I raise to 20. Under the gun calls. We're heads up. The flop is queen eight seven with two spades. We have a flush draw, one over, and a backdoor straight draw. I continue with a bet at 25. The player calls. The turn is a king. Great card for us. Under the gun only has 31 left in his stack. I bet 25 again. He thinks for a bit and says, I make the call for six more. The river is another king, we've got trips. I turn over a winner one more time. The opponent doesn't show what he had. He's had a rough time against us tonight. He takes off as another pot comes towards us. It's been smooth sailing. In this one, we're dealt jack nine suited under the gun. I open to 15. Cut off calls, the big blind also calls. We go three ways to the flop. It's 10-5 deuce with two clubs. We have a flush draw with the backdoor straight draw and one over. Pretty decent for us. Big Blind takes it upon himself to inflate the pot and bets 25. Not exactly sure what his thought process is leading into the aggressor. Perhaps he has a draw or a one pair hand. Can't imagine you do that with anything better. I call, the cutoff folds, we're heads up. The turn is the eight of hearts giving me an open ended straight draw. The big Blind slows down and checks. I take control by betting 45. The big Blind calls right away. I'm gonna need some help on this river or I may need to turn my hand into a big bluff seems that today might be my day. The river is the queen of diamonds. We backdoor our way into the nuts. What a dream. The big blind checks. When I have a hand that's this strong and it's very well concealed, I like to bet large. I make it 130. I want this to look like I missed a flush draw because I kind of did. The opponent doesn't like the spot that he's found himself in. He cuts his calling chips out. Come on, put him in the middle. After tanking for over a full minute, the player ultimately makes the correct fold. We get a fortunate run out and are up 330 on the session. Now I've got ace jack offsuit on the button. The cutoff raises to 15. I call, the small blind calls, the big blind calls as well. We go four ways to the flop. It's jack nine deuce with two diamonds. We have top top on a coordinated board. Small blind and big blind check. The cutoff bets 35. Should never be completely bluffing into three other players even as the preflop aggressor, so that's somewhat alarming that you bet. I'm not going anywhere with my hand though. I make the call. Small blind calls, the big blind folds. Three of us see the turn, it's the five of hearts. Small blind and the cutoff both check. Probably have the best hand, I need to protect so that no one hits a draw if that's what they have. And I wanna get value out of hands like king jack, queen jack, and jack 10. I bet 75, the small blind folds. Cutoff doesn't believe that I've got it. He calls, we're heads up, the river is another nine. I expect the cutoff to check. Instead he leads for 125. It's a strange line that he took in this hand. He shouldn't have many nines in his range since he bet the flop. He should have mostly been checking in multi-way pots with second pair if that's what he had. Maybe now he's taking one last stab at it as a bluff with a missed draw. And he's trying to rep trips, or maybe he's naming his price with a hand like King Jack or Queen Jack. This particular player hasn't been caught bluffing big on rivers at any point tonight, so part of me thinks that he could have something like Queens or Kings, check turn for pot control, but wanted to make sure I didn't check back river. Point is, there are quite a few combinations of hands that he could have that I'm ahead of, and several that I'm losing to. I've gotta see for myself what I'm up against. I call, the player turns over ace nine offsuit, he drilled a two outer on the river, in the biggest pot that we've played so far. That takes a big chunk out of the profit, we're barely winning. After that we pick up jack nine again, we're in the small blind, under the gun limps in, the button limps, I call, the big blind checks, we go four ways to the flizz op, the dealer puts out nine seven deuce with two clubs, we've got top pair and some backdoor draws. No one raised preflop, so there's no aggressor to check to. I lead out for 15. The big blind folds, under the gun calls, the button folds, we're heads up, the turn is the queen of hearts. I check, under the gun bets 30. I've seen this player make some odd plays, not giving up second pair to him just yet with all the draws that were on the flop. I call, the river is the queen of spades. I check, the opponent fires again for 55. He's saying he has a queen, he very well could have the queen of clubs since that card's unaccounted for and he could have called my flop bet with a flush draw than backdoor trips. That's the only real hand that makes sense. Wouldn't expect him to value bet better nines on both the turn and the river. I call, halfway expecting to lose. Surprisingly, it seems like we've got the winner. Under the gun doesn't look too happy or appear to want to show. She got. Hi. Player tried to bluff us, but we're too big of whales. Jack nine offsuit's good. Imagine the opponent had a missed flush draw and we got a decent run out. In the last hand that we'll go over, we have ace-king offsuit on the button. Under the gun opens a 15. 
Cut off three bets to 50. Some interesting spots since the initial raise came from the early position player. We're five-handed though, so maybe that doesn't mean quite as much. Cut off is actually the next player to act. Hasn't been three betting much at all. I imagine he's gonna be very strong, so I can make the case for flatting or four betting. I take the more aggressive route and I make it 140. Under the gun lets the cards go quickly. I'm happy to see that. The cutoff doesn't appreciate my re-raise. This might be the first four bet of the night at this table. Eventually, he folds Ace King offsuit face up and says, I don't feel like shopping in the car. Would have been shopped, yeah. Okay, I'm in a better position. We had the same hand, but I don't blame the opponent too much for folding, given how the game was going and the fact that I'd be the last to act on every street. If he called, he probably would have ended up losing more money. I'm happy to take down one last pot before booking the win and racking up. Late night here, this is my first time playing poker at a casino in Las Vegas. I actually played, what's up man? I actually played um, at the Venetian earlier, that went well. I won 560, but I'm not allowed to film there. Decided to uh, film here and just do a late night session. So played for three hours, I won 295. Um, played some pretty interesting hands. So uh, it's, just, it's just a whole different feel now, a whole different vibe than it used to be without the mass and without the temperature checks and all that stuff. Uh, but had a good day, I won almost 900 all together. So, I call it a night, get some sleep. That's it for this one, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please remember to hit the like and subscribe buttons because it helps out the channel a ton. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to let me know in the comment section. I'm happy to get back to you. Definitely take advantage of all the giveaway stuff. So there's the $3,000 seats that were given away. All you have to do is click on the link down below in the description box. Uh, fill in your name and email address and you'll be eligible and you'll receive the free ebook. And then pokercoaching.com is also giving away the free five day trial uh, with a premium membership to their site. And you can do the interactive hand quizzes. You can take advantage of the courses um, that are put out daily by a variety of superstar poker tournament players. And, uh, and that'll get you started on the 30 day tournament um, poker prep course. So that should be really cool. I'm gonna start doing that. And uh, the WSOP has already begun here in Las Vegas. I played my first event and I cashed in it. I squeaked my way into the money. This is a $500 buy-in and I cashed for 772. So it's all online this year. And I'm gonna be playing a few more Nevada events and then I'm going out to Mexico for the GG portion with Andrew. We're gonna be playing a lot of those events. I'm gonna be making a ton of content around that and I'm gonna be streaming it probably and I'm definitely gonna be making some other uh, poker vlogs around those tournaments. So I'm really, really excited. Um, if, you're, if you're outside the US and you wanna sign up for GG, you can use the promo code MUGS and that'll get you a little, little extra for when you do sign up. All right guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you're all staying safe, doing well. Good luck at the tables, good luck during the WSOP and uh, see you guys next time.